Hello guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHumpster.com and today I want to show you guys how to do the front carry in the Moby Move Carrier. So here is the Moby Move Carrier. I have a six month old that I like to wear in this. I mostly, now that he's older, like to wear him on my back. So I will link the back carry video for this exact carrier in the cards and down in the description box. So I have several different kind of carries for this carrier. But for a younger baby, I do like the front carry better because you can see them, they're just a little more secure. It's not as scary to try to get them back there without their heads flopping over or them falling. So I do like this carry for younger babies and even though he's seven months now and he can be on my back, sometimes I do like him on my front or in a hip carry. So this is good for really any age of baby. I can even wear my toddler in the front carry. So let's just get right into this tutorial. is the Moby Move Carrier. I really do enjoy it. It's really nice. It's partly mesh, partly fabric. It's nice and breathable for you and your baby. It comes with a little sun protector here that you can snap on the back and then put up over their heads so that it's, they're protected from the sun. It has this, this head support flap that you can either snap up or down, just like this. Especially if he's on my back, I like to have it up. But if he's on the front, I can adjust it even after he's in it so you can it, you don't, it doesn't have to be exactly where you want it before you put them in. Here's the waistband. It has a pocket to put stuff in. I like to put my keys or my phone in there if we're out and about. It also has this adjustment for different sizes of babies. So like for this middle part, it would be zero to three months. For like here and here, it would be three to nine months. And for the very edges, it would be nine months or older. So I have it adjusted for my son to wear the fabric goes from one knee to the other knee. So I get that nice M position in his legs and hips. But just make sure, just make sure that you hold it up to your baby's legs and get it adjusted. So let's put this on. So I'm gonna take this part with the adjustments and I kind of face it towards me like this. So you can see all the instructions the right way. And then I'm just gonna put it on my waist right here. And then you take these around the back and buckle them. And there's an adjustment here or here so you can tighten it or loosen it however need on either side. Okay, so now it is on my waist like this and it's ready for me to put my son into. This is Demetrius. He is seven months old and he loves to be carried in his carriers. So I'm just gonna center him on my chest like this. I'm gonna make sure that his legs are spread so that they just go in the fabric like they're supposed to. I'm gonna reach down here and put one of these over my shoulder and then this other one like that. And then there's a buckle back here that you need to attach just like that so that these things don't come off of your shoulders. There's these adjustments right here that you can do if you need to make it looser or tighter. I'm going to take this head flap down because he doesn't really like it unless he's sleeping. I just had it attached to one side so that it was just with the carrier when I wasn't using it even. So you just slide it inside this little loop here. I should have done this before he was in it. It would have been easier. And then you can buckle it like that. And then this can attach to the buckles on your shoulder, just like this. So now he's protected if it's really sunny out, but he can still breathe. So there's air here and under this strap. Generally, I will leave the sun visor only attached to one side because it's easier to use the head support that way. And I use this piece more than this piece. But I do like to have this with the carrier. It is nice and convenient to have with. I just let, let this hang off to the side and it doesn't really bother us at all. It's just nice to have so it doesn't get lost somewhere in the house and then I won't be able to find it when I actually need it. He's just over here sucking on a cloth because he's teething. <laughs> so yeah, and then once they're in, you want to just keep in mind a few safety checks. So you can see this fabric is going from knee to knee. So his legs are in a nice, nice m shape position. So it goes from their heels to up to their knees and then down to their butt and that's gonna make it a lot more comfortable on their hips and their legs and their back even. You wanna make sure they're close enough to kiss. And then you also wanna make sure that their airway isn't obstructed, so you wanna be able to just see their nose and their mouth even while they're sleeping. So yeah, that's how you get them in there. And then to take them out, you're just gonna reach back here and undo this buckle. And then I'm just gonna take it off one arm at a time. And then once that arm's out, I'm gonna kinda of reach in here and support him. I'm gonna take the other strap off. And then now he's out. And then you just reach around to your back to undo this part. So now it's all the way off. So yeah, that's how you do the front carry with the Moby Move Carrier. It's super, super easy, very 
self-explanatory and there's lots of straps that you can adjust to make it really comfortable for you and your baby. But I hope that was helpful and please let me know if you have any other baby wearing video requests, any tutorials or troubleshooting or any questions you guys have, leave them in the comments below. But thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!